back in the day when CDs were new. Just looking through my, my GOG collection, trying to find something to play. And saw this and was like, ah, oh, fuck it. Oh, the point and click adventure. Yeah. I played a little bit of sight that, that game. Didn't get very far. Hey, Rish. Hey, Sansco. Please enter identification at any Hopefully you're doing all right. All way to the point, my man. All right, here's the sitch. You'll rendezvous with the rig in about ten minutes. Your contact is Santos. There's a TF-22 prepped and ready. I've never flown a TF-22. Ah, not to worry, you won't be flying this one. The auto nav is set to take you by optimum route to the Siberia complex. Trust is a wonderful thing. I got you out of solitary, didn't I? Can't have you jetting around the globe instead of getting the job done, my man. Just what is the job, Devlin? Well, like I said, always to the point. All right, stand by. I'm going to shoot you some currents on the Siberia project. I still don't have top security clearance, but one of the science officers has started to tell me some things. They're making incredible advances in nanotechnology. I'm not sure, but I believe to get the camera into one of the labs today. And that's soon very secret. All I could make out was a message about the project, learning to talk. The director went down to see for himself in his pajamas. He spent the next two days on the vid phone to Switzerland. It's getting really hot. I know the assistant suspects me, but I'm not worried much in today. Security very tight. One of the technicians was injured yesterday. Nobody will say that. Copies of some internal email messages. It might be useful. I'll get into this fellow. One died. They were constructing an isolation chamber on level two. A message about the mission. I'll be gone by 0400 hours the day before. Don't let the team show up early. Damn. Hey, I knew that would grab your attention. So that's it. Infiltrate the complex and find the Siberia weapon. What do I do with it once I find it? Well, I don't know. Keep it company. There's a cleanup team 24 hours behind you. All right, kid? Gotta run. Catch you later. Oh, okay. Yeah, I figured you'd be busy with your new job. Thank you for the bits, Heavy Creamers. Good. Love the 90s action music. <laughs> oh man, I'm in control now. Here this is Santos. Report to my office immediately. Take the door on the right and don't wander around. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Pretty soon you'll be uh, you'll be the top golf golf man. <laughs> All right, I've never played this before. I've never even seen anybody play this, so this is all new to me. Look 
those sick, uh, well, I can't even see my face now. Those sick sunglasses we got on. Turn around nice and slow and disarm the weapon. <laughs> Is this how you greet all your new arrivals? Only if they have a weapon. Gia, quit screwing around and bring him to my office. Come on. I'll take you to see Santos. We're under attack. Come on, follow me. You take the gun on the right. Okay. What the hell Why is going on? Again? Oh, what? Oh, it's like a turret. Oh, God, you have to use a keyboard. Easier if I could aim with a mouse. <clears throat> Fighters coming in. Magnetic mine. Fighters coming in. Okay, I'm not even touching the controls, it's like spazzing out now, I guess because our health is low. Man, all this, all this space on the CD-ROM, they couldn't have any music. Sounds this turret makes. Good shot. Good shot. Fighters coming in. Watch it. Magnetic mine. How? <laughs> nice kill. Okay. How long are we stuck in this turret for?
catch it. Lock is this turret sequence. That was amazing. <laughs> okay, Kiss then. Me. Kiss no, you. What? What? I don't think so. <laughs> What? <laughs> I've known you for fucking 10 seconds, lady. All right, we're getting out of here. Take the lift to the hangar and prepare to take off immediately. Some kind of weird music, I don't know. Ancient. <laughs> Let's go this way. Is this the turret? Have I just gone in a circle? Oh no, we're back at the... Our hovercraft here. trying to get to here. God damn it. Don't go through any of these doors.
No, this is back. Ow! That's just like another way to go in. Go back and mount the tree. Oh, do I have to get back in my hovercraft or something? No, he won't point that way. <laughs> So. All right, we're getting out of here. Take the lift to the hangar and prepare to take off immediately. Take the lift to the hangar. Hey, say you're beast. sucks because it's like a joint manual between this and the 3DO version and almost all the instructions are for a 3DO gamepad. Oh, this looks like a lift. Or not. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> there we go. Hanger. Aha. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Oh, we're running now. We uh 
Uh, it doesn't seem like it. The only time Karma getting two crashes on me is when I use cheat codes. Otherwise, it's uh, fine. What just happened? That was a death, that was a game over. Am I not supposed to get in the, the plane? <laughs> Am I in control here? Do I have to do anything while I'm taking off? No. What in the world? <laughs> I'm so confused. This game is fucking weird. like inspect the plane first I said move it <laughs> it blows up how do I make it not blow up <laughs> Character's not very bright. It's like, yo, we walk off the edge now. Uh, what's this way? Uh, nothing, apparently. Okay. Is there a box attached to the plane? see any boxes anywhere. Just these crates. Is that what you're talking about?
What's happening? Uh oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so there's apparently a bomb on our plane. We found the bomb. We're making progress here. Uh, okay, we got this like thermal mode. Infrared scan complete. Magnetic resonance imaging. Expansion spring vibration sensor. On off switch. Okay, so I guess we want to hit the on off switch. Switch. Okay. Okay. Um. Hmm. What about the th scanning for biomass? No biomass detected. This this game was actually hugely successful. But that's because it was in, packed in with like almost every compact PC or something like that. Yeah, this game sold like over a million copies. <laughs> and it has a sequel. under the impression that this was like mostly a rail shooter. I didn't know it was like a puzzle game. will just blindly walk off the edge of a platform to his death. I don't <laughs> I don't think he's too too sharp. I feel like I've fiddled with every button now. It seems like every option results in us dying. I 
it's a button that's not even labeled anything. If you hit it two times, it blows you up. Okay. Shuts off the vibration sensor. that button what'd it do <laughs> maybe I'm trying to move all the switches to an up position okay yes 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 fucking this animation doesn't need to take so goddamn long <laughs> that I did it I guess I did it because he just automatically walked away. The winner is me. No, no, don't, 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 don't fucking commit suicide. Now after we're finally got somewhere. I don't get back to the ladder. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. <laughs> Please don't blow up. Yes! <laughs> Still alive. Just how hot is this thing? Cartel wants it pretty bad. They no, it, it saves automatically. Files, but I thought that if I sent you in alone, we could avoid all of this crap. Yeah? Well, it looks like they're laying out the welcome mat. Indeed. Tax scan shows a lot of cartel activity on your route to the complex. Your onboard fire control system should be able to handle it. Machine faith, Devlin? Trust is a wonderful thing. Remember? <laughs> right. Mission objective, long-range scans detects, it, detects an enemy hover carrier to destroy the ship before it can call reinforcements. Three hover fighters detected on course to the carrier. Hover carrier is equipped with two 5-inch guns. To destroy the hover carrier, detonate the onboard fuel truck designated by the blue target box. Okay. Shields at maximum. Navigation systems active. Hostile targets approaching. Detecting a malfunction in fire control systems. <coughs> Excuse me. Rerouting fire control systems to manual operation. Target acquired. Pew, 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 pew. Somewhere. Yeah, my weapons are like shooting slower now. 
Oh, it must be that bar on the right. We. Shots fired 162, targets hit 41, targets destroyed 20, targets encountered 26, 67% performance rating. Alright. I'll take it. <laughs> Why aren't I using Swing Ma? What's a Swing Ma? I don't even know what that is. <clears throat> Military Islands, mission objective. The island is currently used as a munitions dump by the enemy. The munitions are stored in well-armed buildings along the coastline. Destroy as many munition dumps as possible. Long-range scan shows medium air defenses and the presence of many armored gunboats. An enemy submarine has also been detected. Shields at maximum. Navigation systems active.
it's this 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 is what I thought this game was. <laughs> the the rail shooting stuff. All that on foot puzzle solving stuff, I had no idea was in this game. 67% again. <laughs> same same score both times. At least I'm consistent. Norway. Mission objective. Pass through the canyon to avoid long-range enemy air and sea defenses. Moderate air defenses and high numbers of tanks are reported in the area. Shields at maximum. Okay. Navigation systems active. Target acquired. to shoot those targets. Jesus. Entering hover mode. <laughs> hover mode. It's a fancy stealth jet. Target acquired. Wow, wow, wow. It's interesting. <laughs> like weird on foot segments with like puzzles and stuff that are very odd. <laughs> ow, ow. Set rating. Oh man, we're getting worse. Archangel Military Port. Mission objective the Archangel Military Port and connecting freight tunnel are the only way to pass under the local defense grid. The port is heavily defended by hover fighters, YF 35 attack fighters. And numerous tanks. The entrance to the freight tunnel is protected by a plasma shield and must be neutralized before you can enter. Mighty Elizar, thank you for the follow. Shields at maximum. Navigation systems active. Far 
least. It's, it's just a rail shooter, Trippy. Like, I have no, no control over where we're going. foot again 60% freight tunnel mission objective pass through the freight tunnel without being killed taking out as many enemy forces as possible along the way the tunnel is guarded by proton howitzers and armored cars. Scanners are also detecting numerous fuel supply trucks designated by blue target boxes. If you accidentally detonate one of these fuel trucks, the resulting explosion will destroy the tunnel, the trans fighter, and you. Okay, don't, uh, don't shoot the trucks. It's the highest we've ever gotten. Fly your stealth jet through that tunnel. It's supposed to just fly it over the fucking mountain. Makes sense to me. Zabrovska. Zabrovska is your designated refueling location. FWA allies are standing by to refuel your TF-22 trans fighter. Zabrovska is currently under attack by cartel air forces. The inhabitants are defending their city, but projections show that their inferior defense forces will soon be soon be defeated. Avoid hitting allied forces designated by a blue target box. Shields at maximum. Okay. Mayday! Mayday! We're under attack from cartel forces! Hostile targets approaching. Target acquired.
haven't checked the, the temperature outside, but it feels like it's cold as shit because my apartment's freezing. It's probably minus 25 at least. It's minus 29 right now. It is cold as fuck. Shooter, it's pretty fun. It's fine. Nine degrees Celsius. That's much nicer. <laughs> That's shorts and t-shirt weather up here. Spot? Is that what's happening? I still have like half health there. Three ships. Man, we're getting wrecked. This is our health. This is our shields. This is our... our health is pretty low. Murder, murder. The year of this game is 2027. We're almost there. Where's my laser shooting hover stealth fighter, Dan? Safe spot. I don't understand what's happening. What am I doing wrong? Hostile targets approaching. Mm -hmm. 
murder, murder. Every fucking time. Is it that that last jet? If I don't destroy it, it's just instant mission fail. That time I tried not shooting because I thought maybe I was shooting the fuel tanks or something. It's not that. I guess I have to destroy that one fighter. That's kind of bullshit. Yeah, destroy that last fighter. That's really fucking strict. Take out this one specific ship. We just instant fail the game. Stand by for Stand by for real fuel. Three percent. Ooh. <clears throat> ice canyons. Mission objective: the defense forces in the ice canyons are your last barrier before reaching the Siberia complex. Scanners are unable to effectively penetrate the canyon walls. Shields at maximum. Navigation systems active. <clears throat> This is just making me want to play Terminal Velocity, which is basically this, but not on rails. <clears throat> that game is pretty fun. Show off these helicopter models so you can't shoot them until you've had a chance to look at them. 
Ah, god damn it. Yeah, terminal velocity is, is definitely a much better game. <laughs> oh, fuck. Wow. God damn it. I thought the level was over. <laughs> Shooter now. This level's really hard. Navigation systems active. your progress pretty impressive Zach sorry about the weapons glitch target practice yeah here's the sitch recon shows that cartel forces haven't been able to penetrate to the Siberia weapons level yet in fact it appears from some of the transmissions we've intercepted that they've lost quite a few of their operatives lost how that's eh, not clear but it looks like there's some kind of infection or contamination in the complex <sighs> great Make sure you've got protection. <laughs> I'm going to kill that bastard. Oh man, are we on foot now? No, I still don't have control. Oh, wait, yes, I do. I can only walk forward though. Alright. 
Oh man, are we gonna get eaten by polar bears if I go the wrong way? <laughs> Left or right? Left. So it's like I have to like duck out of cover. And then shoot somehow. <laughs> How do I shoot? Emmanuel says it's the A button, but it might be referring to the A button on a 3DO pad. I can't fucking tell. Like he just keeps shooting. I don't know how to fire my gun. <laughs> I don't know how to move into position. But he won't shoot. A's not doing it. Spacebar's not doing it. Enter's not doing it. Maybe it's mouse button. Shoot! Let me shoot my gun. weapon by moving the direction keys towards your enemy and pressing the A button to fire. What's the A button on a keyboard though? That's a fucking 3DO gamepad. know how to shoot. We 
these Siberia experts out there. Siberia speedrunners. The right arrow key, shoot with spacebar. I've been hitting the spacebar. As uh, Julius, thank you for the follow. Maybe I have to go a different direction? It does say if you're getting shot immediately, you went the wrong way. Maybe we have to go somewhere else. Let's try going the right path. You can't skip these animations. It's a sequel. There was not a third game, though. <laughs> Whoa, slice of matic. Oh man, is this a timing puzzle? This is the way we're supposed to go. <laughs> and you just get instantly shot when you go the wrong way. <laughs> what? What the fuck is going on? This game is so weird. Forward, he's gonna grab his head and die. What? <laughs> what is fucking going on? <laughs> fucking Christ, this game. What is happening? Whoa, slice of matic. Maybe I am supposed to somehow shoot that guy and the timing is just ridiculous? I have no idea.
Thanks for the bits, man. For your patience. I appreciate that. Boop, 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 boom. Gotta make sure there's no what directions I'm missing here. Froze to death. Let's go back to the save. Like this game didn't have the cheap deaths and it probably took like half an hour to finish so they're like we got to pad this fucker out somehow but this is made by the same people that made kingpin and redneck rampage so you know there's, there's no way to shoot this guy there's no way to shoot him is there anything here? It won't even let me like turn around here. Yeah, Kingpin's got the wobbly, wobbly character models. There's no, no skeletons in that game. But that's, that's the engine more than anything. Somehow. <laughs> I don't know what I did differently there, but okay. <laughs> Better fucking saved. So the bets, Emma Seeker. It's very kind of you. Not gate or gate and gate. Possible trap. What? What am I even trying to like accomplish? This one. I'm trying to make everything yellow.
Is there anything off the thermal scan? Infrared scan, nothing. that one that one that one triggers the, the trap Have to sit through the scan animation every freaking time. Oh, excuse me. I'm trying to make it look like like it would help if I knew what the objective of the puzzle was I know what I'm not supposed to do that's all I know <clears throat> state red I guess so I need to make the, the top right one have a red line go to it somehow what I did there. I'll take it though. <laughs> or maybe I'll thermal scan I'll see their fingerprints. So which I guess it would be gonna hit enter last so it must be two five seven one ah seizure or whatever the hell. Yeah. Okay. I guess we're on the, the other side of that, that room now. Did it not save at all? Oh, you fucking douche nozzle game. 
I gotta do that fucking puzzle again? I don't know what the solution was. I just hit random buttons. Fuck. God damn it. I thought you were safe after this. What's wrong with you? saved good can I like take cover behind that crate somehow Get it up. Oh, Oof. Get it up. okay no the directions just affect the direction you you're aiming in Seem to be any way to hide. this room. Maybe there's an alternative thing we could do. Or not. <laughs> Slow motion fall there. Are we dead? Are we dead? I don't even know why I would ask, are we dead? Of course we're dead. <laughs> so I guess we do have to do this. You... 
Like, this game has difficulty settings according to the manual, but it never asked us to pick a difficulty. It just went right into the game. Back. This shit is absurd. Yes! Yikes! What? I thought you... What's the point of taking cover if they could just shoot you? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> like, oh, sick, I got cover. I got time to, like... Oh, I got time to, like, figure this out. No, I don't have time. Cover means nothing! Months. That's very kind of you. Of notification in Camina Lars Hart. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Okay. No. It, like it. I hit right, and he doesn't do the turn half the time. This is so fucking precise. This is ridiculous. Yikes. What am I supposed to do there? <laughs> I can't fire. He won't move. What? I don't even know what I'm doing. What the hey. Yikes. Oh, I'm ducking. Okay. You can duck. <laughs> How do I shoot? <laughs> How do you fucking... What do you want me to do, game? I can't do anything! Oh yeah, okay, you have to lean out and then hit up and then fire, okay. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Yikes! Duck! No, fuck! I got one of those. Sometimes it's just totally fucking fine, and then other times it's you're just fucked. Ultimate 3D. <laughs> if we get awkward platforming, then this will be ultimate. And there it's fine. Duck, 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 duck. Shoot, I don't know if you can go back into cover if I'm supposed to kill them both like instantly. Yikes. 
Hey, Victor. Saved. <laughs> what? Now what? <laughs> what let me do it big in here now. If I go back in the hallway, isn't that guy gonna like shoot me? do that again. Are we dead? Oh, I'm not dead. I can't... <laughs> I'm like a fucking mass of pixels. I can't tell what way I'm facing. Okay, let's go in here. Okay, we're not getting shot. That's good. janitor has quit. Cancel his key code and invalidate his access pass. Now. Alexe, we have a problem. System security has gone random. It is oh, these guys to implement blink. a master password it's just to let Oko's girls access Gmail and personnel files. What a mess. Mr. McKellen thinks it has something to do with his insect. In any case, we must get real codes back online immediately. The master code is named for your hero hanging in Burton A. By the way, when can we expect a new janitor? The director mentioned an unpleasant odor. See to it. Hey, so. <laughs> yeah, the way these characters blink is just freaking me out. <laughs> Alexi, a couple of strangers just looked into my storeroom. I think one of them had a plas pistol. Is everything okay? Alexei, unauthorized personnel, seal off all levels. <laughs> okay. I guess this room was just about seeing those emails.
What's up, pal? Oh, is that his hero? She said the guy's password was based on his hero hanging and birthing eight. So maybe the password's Einstein. I, the birthing's not labeled, so I don't know, but... <laughs> seems... Seems like a thing. Why does it look like there's pairs of underwear all over the place? What are those things supposed to be? Looks like fucking like granny panties have been thrown all over the room. <laughs> it's underwear, <laughs> like boxers or whatever. Just, let's just inspect this dude's underwear here. <laughs> and socks. Better make sure. Get a UV lamp? Yeah, it look like a Jackson Pollock painting in here. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Duh. Duh. What? <laughs> what? I'm so fucking confused. This game is so weird. I had no idea this game was like this when I sat down to play this. Uh, it was just gonna be like a light gun game, basically. This shit is fucking crazy. Okay, well, I guess we got we got the Einstein thing. Losing my mind now. <coughs> oh, okay. which seems to also be related to the weapon's newfound sentience. In conclusion, it would appear that at this stage of research, the potential of the Siberia weapon is virtually limitless. However, the fundamental lack of boundaries this potential brings makes this project extremely difficult to control. But even if we can't find a way to control and harness this entity, then surely the spin-off technologies from our research will have justified the time and costs required for this project. Thank you. Arnold. Get a progress report. Right. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Screw you, buddy. gonna walk back in here and fucking shoot me in the back
Okay. <laughs> I can't go in that door to the left. I guess not. Hello, Hiroko, dear. I love the new card key access system, but some people who shouldn't have keys are wandering around AGR. Could you have a new set of keys made? Chaz is brilliant, but he has friends I'd rather not see in the lab, if you understand. Get started as soon as you can, dear. Miss Suzuki, the new janitor is expected tomorrow. She's under emergency investigation, but nothing negative expected. Investigation. All she needs to do is use a mop and turbo vac and stay inside the station. Recommended by Irena Dmitrenia Kolnev. Emergency replacement for Yakov Petrovich Krasnoi. Issued temporary key code. Replaced with permanent code as soon as possible. Personnel file Ian Ross McKellen, Nanotechnology Section Chief. Date of birth 040771. Duno Dun Scotland or Dundon. Alexei Bolskoy Fyodorovich, security officer. Boris Alexeyevich Kalnikov. Carlos Diaz Y. Shoemaker. Hiroko Suzuki. Marlu X. Seringa. Sonia Ilyevna Femerin. Thomas McGovern Rivers. Yakov Petrovich Krasnoy, that's the, the janitor they're saying was dead. Photo pending. Natalia Gektorena Menchie? Temporary key code. Oh, I should probably memorize that. There we go, I got a screenshot of it. Yeah, key code. <clears throat> the hell are you going? You drunk? room is for. <clears throat> This, where did this save our game? Okay, we're here. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> okay. Now we got the screenshot of the, the code. Uh oh, flash grenade. Jeez, would you 
leave the damn room, man. <laughs> Go. Flashbang. <clears throat> well, it's it's all pre-rendered, Reg. It's not like it's real time, real time rendering or anything. Just require insane fucking reflexes. On GOG, this game is way better rated than AD 2044. I mean, AD 2044 is a fucking shit show, so. Yeah, I can understand that. Hey, JC. Forward, he runs in the angle. <clears throat> uh oh, flash grenade. My getting out of this room is a pain in the ass. Yeah, so it's it's entirely pre-rendered pest monolith, so you, you just move to nodes and then you can go in predetermined directions. Like you can see he'll face the different nodes in the room you can move to. So you're just moving from node to node. And it's all like fixed <clears throat> where you can go and what you can do. Point his gun at him. Huh. So what the hell am I supposed to do? It's not tank trolls. It's it's completely different from tank trolls. Oh, wow. 
flash grenade. Like, you, you would think you'd have to run into the room, like Amasika was saying, but you can't point it. He won't go in that door, so I don't... I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. Zack exit out into the hallway and begin heading towards the conference room as you pass by the elevator. However, a cartel soldier emerges to throw a blast grenade at you. Is that what is he saying? Blast grenade, not flash grenade? You only have a moment, moment to shoot him before you can accomplish this. Oh, so it's literally just a timing thing. Like, shoot him instantly. Okay. Awesome. This game requires, like, pixel-perfect timing on these things. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh -oh, like, I was mashing the button as fast as I could there. I don't know how I could do that any faster. Move quickly to the panel to the elevator's right. You'll now need to enter the code you found to seal off the grenade explosion. Do this as quickly as possible and you'll close the elevator just as it detonates. I see. Oh. Planet Fall, the Infocom interactive fiction novel. Yeah. Only Infocom game I've played is Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Square blue triangle. Blue circle, red square, blue triangle. I'm gonna move this to my other monitor just so I have it there. This is fucking ridiculous! <laughs> it's ridiculous! It's just... 
Yeah, my mace entering the wrong password doesn't uh, result in you fucking dying horribly. managed to do it two times and now I just cannot do it again. circle, red square, blue triangle. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! Fuck it! Uh oh, flash 
Integer. Game of the 1000 corpses. Senator showcasing some top tier red we're gaming right here. <clears throat> Smile. Yeah, so what, what happened is you shoot the guy before he can throw the grenade, so he drops the grenade on the ground. And then you have to shut the elevator before it explodes. better than Ultimate 8. <laughs> Infinitely better. Now, where the hell am I supposed to even be going? This was where the Einstein poster was. Well, maybe I have to reopen the elevator now that the grenade detonated. We have to use that elevator. Let's go back there. So this seems pointless going backwards. <clears throat> Remember when this was a rail shooter? I know there's some kind of super weapon called the Siberia weapon that's being developed at this research base and we're here to 
obtain it. That's that's the story. <clears throat> Evil spoice vegans. Yes, Torwin Torwin jumping to his death was the highlight of Ultimate. Torwin, no. Sploosh. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> to like the brain aneurysm room, right? Like you think we would need like protective gear or something to not have the brain aneurysm happen? <laughs> something. What's this? No, he's not a robot, he's just, just a dude. With some sweet Terminator shades on. System activated. <laughs> well, so much for that plan. <laughs> Okay, so we need to like get through this room without getting spotted by this guy. Okay. Diberia, yes. 
don't know what our death count is at, but it's it's got to be pretty fucking high. <laughs> He didn't see me. Ah! <laughs> I am Stealth Man. Just the call to remind you of your appointment with Professor Kalnikov tomorrow. The professor is looking forward to your complete progress report. Don't be late. Hey, Tommy boy, que pasa? Good to hear from you. Down here in AGR country, we get feeling isolated, you know? Keeping out of Sonya's eyes, doing horticulture. Did you get that card key I left for you? Keep it safe. Horticulture. <coughs> Zoom in. Woo -hoo. Wait, there was like, what is this? Date six two twenty seven. File six seventeen. Personal ID. Hands Jagger. Age forty. Eighty three kilograms. Okay. Bent. Closed or open? Oh, open, I guess. I didn't save after the, the stealth thing. <clears throat> hey, Sinertia. This game is fucking insane. <laughs> it's made by crazy people. <clears throat> it's fascinating, though, that's for sure. Alon system activated. I guess I have to watch his head. Move when his head is down. Activated. 
we've seen every death sequence this game has to offer about six or seven hundred times a piece at this point. Because every sequence requires like pixel perfect timing. It's insane. Okay, he can't see me here. Go. Man, so when we got through this last time, it was this complete fucking fluke. Closed, so I'm assuming we need to open them. The status doesn't change. Um, whoops. I don't know what that accomplishes, if anything. weapon but that's that's the room we were just looking at through the security camera I can believe it. I mean, if, if you knew exactly what to do, and maybe turn the, figured out how to turn the difficulty down so that the timing isn't so fucking insane, so you don't have to redo the same sequence seven or eight million times. Assuming we have to do something somewhere else first. Okay, so this room we got shot. the easiest shootout we've had yet. I'm amazed. That almost felt like normal a normal video game. Hey Cosmic Savant, welcome back. Hopefully your your dog walk went well.
Okay, that room was seemingly pointless. saved at all, even after I killed the guy. Fuck's sakes. Yes, yes. Official, but whatever. Okay, so if we go in the door on the left, we're gonna get a shot, so I guess we'll go straight. Try and deal with whatever did the shooting. Uh oh. Whoa! Jesus! treasure. <laughs> once, once I find a redeeming quality, uh, I'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, not, not having manual saves is fucking wonderful. The thing is, is, prior to this, it was pretty good about putting checkpoints after you complete, like, each challenge, but for whatever reason, it doesn't consider this stealth room worth, worthy of saving your game. Alright, what if we just skip this guy? He's probably gonna shoot me in the back. Yep. I fucking called it! I fucking called it! <laughs> you have to kill him! You fucking douche nozzle game. God damn it. Yeah, Alone in the Dark basically created the survival horror genre with the fixed camera angles and tank trolls. Yeah, beautiful, huh? 
Who the hell? This would be a really nice time to save, but there's no fucking manual saves. Whoops. fucking game. Fuck. In like was it 92 when it came out alone in the dark was very impressive Alone in the Dark gave us Ecstatica. Ecstatica was amazing. This kind of reminds me of Ecstatica, except it's just like a hundred times more frustrating than that game. Those of the Haunting's great. is pretty good. So far all we've been able to glean is that there's a super weapon and we are sci-fi commando man here to steal the super weapon from these people, whoever they are. Ecstatica 2. Ecstatica 2 is boring and repetitive. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. What? I don't even remember moving into cover. Apparently I hit a key to move into cover last time. I thought he just did it automatically. Uh -oh. Like it makes me wonder if there's something else we're supposed to do in this room and the reason it's not saving is because I haven't... I haven't done whatever it is I'm supposed to be doing. That, yeah, the first one was fantastic. Super fun. Any word on the explosion? Yeah, beautiful, huh? Who the hell? <sighs> waxworks. You know, waxworks is too much, too much of a point-and-click adventure. Not enough of a dungeon crawler for my days. There's a remake of Waxworks now. It's in Steam Early Access. It looks acid flipper delicious. <clears throat> Hell? 
like knockout punch noise when you shoot him. It's very odd. Is this supposed to be like a stun gun we're shooting or something? Okay, so we have to dive into cover somehow. Uh oh. There we go. There's so many like camera angles and areas that seem to serve no purpose. It's like a lot of a lot of art assets generated for nothing. Interlock open. Interlock closed. Is that good? Bad? I, that's an interlock. <laughs> Warning: Entering contaminated area. Oh, good. Danger, viral infection hazard. This mutagen inoculation. Is this how I cure myself? M7. Did that did that do something helpful? game. Fuck you. Fuck you. Wow. 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 Help. 
Principal, what the fuck am I doing? How do I trigger the next checkpoint? I'm sick of doing this over and over. So I'm gonna look it up. Through. We need to go kill everybody and then backtrack, go back up the elevator, and go through some kind of grate or something. Coffee's supposed to be bitter. It's not supposed to be weak, though. Okay, so we have to open that vent. Maybe we can do this without fighting the guys. We can fight them after. what we missed. Open the vent so we can reach out here and take the card. There we go. Uh -huh. Oh. Oops. Oh, that's 
far as we can go. Okay. <clears throat> so now we got the key card. So we don't have to go into the weird virus room. Still didn't checkpoint. Fuck. Oh my god. This game was a lot more tolerable when it was actually saving the game. It's just getting fucking trash now. Save games option. It's just one of those games with really shitty checkpoint spacing, that's all. Siberia 3, no thanks. <laughs> I'll pass. Any word on the explosion? Yeah. Beautiful, huh? Who the hell? Fuck this fucking... <laughs> Stupid. I am. I just. I love going through all this over and over and over again. Any word on the 
explosion? Yeah. Beautiful, huh? Who the hell? did wasn't randomized this would be less fucking annoying fuck this is a dumpster fire shooting don't don't aim at the guy shoot the boxes next to the guy that that's that's cool Respawned. This would uh, go from being the worst game of all time to the even worst game of all time. <laughs> me of Rebel Assault, but like nowhere near as good. I played Rebel Assault 2 when I was a kid. Hey, Stealth Guy's dead. Oh, is that the guy we shoot? 
when we go around, we kill him. Okay. So now we can, like, freely move around here, I guess. I guess we can, like, look around this room. Yeah, I've, I've never played the first one, but uh, the second one was alright, for what it was. I mean, <laughs> it's very basic. It. I remember it was really hard. Mm, gotcha. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Dutch mustard, thank you for the follow. Card, so we should be able to go through this door up here where it better fucking save the fucking game. <laughs> I swear to God. Access approved. Save. Save the game. Colleagues, I know your shame. No shame is greater than my own. We have created wild beasts. We have unleashed them. And we are in their jungle. You did what you had to do. What you wanted to do. I did the same. And you see the results. Mutagens. Monsters. Tiny, invisible, deadly monsters. We created them and we will pay the price, perhaps with our lives. But we have the chance to redeem ourselves. We cannot kill all the mutagens. There simply are too many of them. But, as some of you know, we believe we can immunize ourselves and our colleagues against their blind ferocity and contain them within this facility. We have developed a vaccine and a delivery system for it that is as simple as walking through a metal detector. Unfortunately, the mutagens are everywhere. They have even invaded the series of vaccine cultures we have prepared, so the vaccine is not yet safe to use. We have modified a nanoprobe device to move through the cultures. With this device, we can inspect the vaccine and, hopefully, destroy the infestation. We originally prepared eight cultures of vaccine. The first four were used in the first set of trials. I will use the fifth on myself. I estimate that each culture will need to be cleared of 50 to 80% of its contamination. Then it will need to be infused and tested by human entry into the mutagen infestation. I will make the first attempt. I may fail. But, friends, we will not all fail. I wish good fortune to those who follow me. Okay. <clears throat> As requested, I present a status report on the nanotechnology project. There is no progress, as I'm sure you know. You may not know the extent of the failure, 
and the danger posed by the mutated molecular nanodevices. It is not my place to cast blame upon those who demanded immediate results and would not allow for controls for the time and care needed to nurture and train our minuscule creations. We designed useful molecule after molecule, then abandoned them to design even more. As each species was set aside, it mutated. With no guidance, no controls, the successful mutations became predators. Killer viruses, as you can see. And, as directed, we kept making more. This slide demonstrates the predatory nature of these mutations on a sample of living tissue. Human tissue. We will not continue to produce new killers. Contamination still present. <laughs> LP on interactive intro. It does look a lot like that, doesn't it? <clears throat> Contamination still present. So do I have to do six, seven, and eight, I guess? Contamination still present. never asked me for a difficulty, so I have no idea. It just I just launched the game and it just went right into it. The manual mentions difficulty the settings, but I'll be damned if I know how to get into them. still present. What? 
don't let me make another attempt. As requested. I just soft lock now. At least it's saved. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> I mean, there's a settings menu, but it doesn't say anything about difficulty. Contamination eliminated. Sweet. So can I stop? <laughs> yeah, all it did is it asked me for my name. I typed in my name and the game just... Game just began. There was no difficulty option. Does that mean this room's safe? I don't, I don't know. eliminated sweet okay <laughs> we did it now what
Sonia, I would send this to Kalnikov directly, but I know that you'll see it first anyway. My assistant Charles died tonight, trying to retrieve the probe from the infested corridor. The power pack we're using is still too weak to get the Charlie probe all the way back to our lab. And the beasts have learned to attack in groups, sneaky buggers. I'll solve part of the problem by installing an area-wide shockwave device. The interkey activates a localized burst of energy matter disruption. Too technical, really, but we can kill them in small swarms now. Better chance, anyway. Poor Charlie. A good lad. Sweet Lord, forgive me. I need sleep now. May I have the strength to wake up? As you know, our experiment with self-directed nanotechnology was a disastrous success. The wee devils figured out how to gather up lab materials and build themselves into killing machines. And then the corpses were lab materials as well, rest their souls. Some of the nanites can fly. The others slide along the floor as if it were a frozen pond and themselves an ice skate. We were forced to seal off the area, and we made a good job of that, I'm glad to say. But our problem, apart from the fact that the sealed area is now filled with killing machines instead of hard-working scientists, is that no one can now get down below to the main Siberia research chamber, which can only be reached by the one elevator. We could not kill them from beyond the walls. Poisoned gas, hard vacuum, it didn't slow them down. So the nanites are still there, and there's nothing for it but to go at them with a remote probe. I call it Charlie. It has the most powerful plasma cannon it can carry, and an area-wide shockwave device. The propulsion reactor is a fine piece of work, and very efficient. A good thing, too, for that the weapons are such an energy drain. The camera is a compromise, I admit, but it should give the operator a good enough view, and it hardly weighs a thing. The last thing was the anti-grav module, so Charlie could find the nanites hiding on the ceiling. We had to go for some really weird math to make it work. Weak it is, but it looks to be strong enough for Charlie. Charlie will have to go in and take them all out in one sweep. If even one survives, we would be completely reinfested within hours. We'll take a good operator with hands quicker than mine to guide Charlie through his mission. percent But it's Kill our ratio chance. required. Oh, good. <laughs> what? Fucked up. You wanna see that again? <laughs> Alright. Pew! the arrow keys it just takes me back here up no down no what what did I do I guess I just had to wait This is gonna suck. This is gonna suck. <clears throat> Oh, 
Let's cut ammo. Fuck. Even better. this rail shooter shit. for not putting a checkpoint at the start of the sequence making you sit through this every single time <laughs> battery
nice if your normal shots didn't take energy. <clears throat> Shit. Yeah. It is easier to blow your own foot off, this is true. I think we're gonna we're gonna get through this. I'm not good enough to do this. <clears throat> okay. I didn't hit anything. for three and a half hours. It feels like I've been playing this for like 15 hours.
serious game. He's wearing the same outfit he's been wearing the whole game. Nothing's changed about the character's appearance. Yeah, I can't. There's no way. I just can't do this. I'm leaving Wetlands for you. That's the game that you claim you enjoy. <laughs> that one's all yours. Thanks, fuck! Oh, this is fucked. This is completely fucked. Imagine playing this on a gamepad without a mouse, playing like the 3DO version or something. Good fuck. Good fucking luck with that. <laughs> Just use the 3DO D-pad and somehow get through this sequence. That's gonna happen. And I get to the same point every time. It's just not enough energy. Not for how shitty I am, anyway.
Even when I know where they're coming from, I still can't react fast enough to hit them. I'm using like half my energy on bombs. Super, this is why you don't replay this more often. Uh, sequence is why we're not going to be able to finish the game. <clears throat> but it's to be expected. It is a Zatrix game. They're pretty, sh pretty shitty developer, all things considered. run I've had yet and I'm still at fucking basically half energy. <sighs> and the energy even drains just when you're flying around.
This part always fucks me. Like, <laughs> the window to hit some of these is so absurdly small. to who you can't hit until they get highlighted even though you can clearly see them shoot them oh fuck you Did I do it? Holy shit. <laughs> okay, now what? Did it save? What am I doing? I guess this, this area is like clear of contaminants so we can like run through here now. Hey, thank you for the bits, Amos Eagle. That's pretty kind yes. of you. I see what you're talking about. Yeah. Zach, who are you? 
cellular scientists project. That's a hell of a name. Can you see me? Visual? Self unit sees sack body. Sack body sees self unit. Zach, you there? Yeah, I read you. You made it, eh? I knew you were the right man for the job. Devlin, this weapon, it's unbelievable. It's sentient. Really? It's too bad, then. What? But it's only going to be sentient for about another minute. What are you talking about? You got it backward, Zack. That thing isn't the weapon. You are. Adios, pal. Devlin! <laughs> what? Detect radio activation. Micronic thermonuclear device in Zack body. Device detonation threshold in 60 second time units. Son of a bitch! Zack body. Device detonation will cease all life functions. We're both gonna die. Zack body lives. Query, self unit lives? You're more alive than most of the people I know. Query, Zack body can survive if you merge with self unit. Device detonation threshold in 30 second time units. Zack body will survive if merged with self. You don't run or anything. Just casually walk up to it. You're only gonna die in 30 seconds. What is this? Death. Life. Where are you? With you. With me. Death. Must be terminated. How? We can do it. Together. Scanning for location of last Devlin communication. laid plans, eh? Just what the hell are you now, Zack? Shockwave, force and magnitude growing. Defense systems up. Launch the swarm. Scramble all interceptors. Kill it. What? like a life bar, I can't even tell how we're doing.
I can't fucking hit anything. God. Oh, Jesus. No, this thing doesn't have a bomb. So calm. <laughs> See you in hell. This is getting fucking just blown to shit. up game four hours huh felt like fucking 15 so we turn into an eggplant man fly into space blow up Pippi long stockings and then crash there is a sequel, yeah. Status? Shallow vital signs detected. Whatever it is, it's still alive. A and B teams ready to begin extraction. Proceed. All right, rescue one. Nice and easy. Set position. Rescue two, positioning. Replace. Engaging. Yeah, we might as well. We, we got some time to kill. We can jump into the sequel. That's it. Take it up. Rescue one, station secure. We've got him, Doctor. Get us the hell out of here. Play sequel right away. We're just gonna let this play up just in case there's like a post credit thing and then we'll jump into the same one. <laughs> You're welcome, Batman.
if the second one actually asks me for a uh and go straight to DOS prompt. <laughs> the second one asked me for the 